Hey, what's up, everybody? It's come to my attention that a lot of people need some help just setting up their TOS and some basics. So I'm just going to go over some basics, a lot of the super overly asked questions uh, that I've been getting recently. Um, one happens to be involving the labels up here, which I'll drop a link. Uh, I click share chart. I'm going to share this chart with you. I'm going to share it, and it's going to share you um, all the different labels on my chart. You just go over to your co your thing here. You After you add it into your application, of course, go to your application, set up at setup uh, open shared item add it here and then it'll pop up but add that and then it save all these labels you can put them in whatever order you want that's the order i have them in and then that gives you the labels a second thing that i've been getting a lot of questions on is how do i keep getting this taskbar up here it's i don't even know what it's really called to be honest with you it's called the my to on each chart tools on each chart but the way you get it up here is by clicking the cogwheel right here at the bottom of the very first screen that pops up on general screen, go to my tools on each chart, click on each chart. Sometimes it starts on off, sometimes on a single panel, click apply, then click OK. After you do that, this cog will pop up and a bunch of random ones will be on here. Sometimes none of them are there and you have to add your own, um, but you can add uh, drawings, you can add scripts, you can add whatever you want right there, but it's super helpful. And then one more thing that I'm getting a lot of questions on besides adding that to the screen, um, is uh, what was it? it was colors i'm getting a colors question this is my color screen if you're interested it's just adjusted the green and red a little bit and i changed the doji to yellow so i can see them easier no grid background i just have on full-on black pretty much no preset color i like to make it the same color as that i turn my volume off anyway though. i turn volume average on and then i just use these because they're fatter they're fatter candles even if you increase the width of normal volume it doesn't look like this so uh, but the last thing that i keep getting asked pretty heavily about is my setup how does it look after you go to setup click application settings click uh look and feel sorry i was like blind for a second and then this is my settings for how my screen looks everybody always asks like yo bueller how do you get your your stock symbols to change colors and how do you get the yellow there and how do, how do you make it look like this how do you make it so tight in large letters well how i do that is i go to settings application settings look and feel um, I have large font size, tight spacing, therefore I have bigger letters but tight spacing so I could see more but it's still really easy to read. I do not share the menu for navigation tabs because you don't have, so you have less in your way. And then I have custom dark one which is just my own edited of custom, I, I edited the dark and then I changed a couple colors. But this is how I have it set, I have all my headers all black, my bars are black, all of that's black. Price down, I want it red. Price updates, I want a quick flash of blue. If you've noticed, I, there's actually a quick flash of blue so it pops up easy for you. Price up green, labels white, text and values yellow. You can change any of this as you want. Um, super helpful though, and that's how I have my mind set up just like this. Uh, I have the scratch pad here, calculator, trader TV, market depth. I pretty much just use the scratch pad. I rarely use the trader TV, and I'll, I'll occasionally use the calculator. It is helpful. Um, the watch list, of course. Oh, oh, one more thing. Something that's super helpful that a lot of people don't use or even click on is this right here. So you can see right now I have this single spy chart, right? This is what I'm looking at. I click double chart. Oh, wow. Now I have two of them. And it's because I went in here and I saved whatever I have set. So you can do that. But you can also... Oh, here we go with this. Uh, but you can also use the drawings uh, tab here. So like right now I have the spy chart in front of me. If I want to go over to my bigger time frame analysis, I don't want to look at that time frame. I want to look at this time frame without using it. Let's, it, let's, let's say you're on your, your bigger time frame and you have all your levels clustered. You're like, oh, well, this is for my daily trading. I don't want to look at that. I want to look at less levels. Awesome. Then you can have it set for that. Or you want to look at a chart that has nothing on it? Awesome. Just focus on that then. You know, you can go back through that. But take advantage of that. That's definitely one of my most used features of TOS. Um, another one that a lot of people don't realize is the uh, analyze tab up here. I know you can't see it because my thumbnails in the way, but there's an analyze tab there. And if you're on spy on the selected screen uh, with this one right here, you can change that to one. So it links it every time to your chart. You can actually look through here and that's actually how I, I do my sectors. So if you're ever like, oh, what's spy doing or what sectors are in spy? How much is, is each one tech? You're like, oh, Almost 30% of, uh, of SPY is te just tech by itself. So you go look at XLK, you go see what weights are in it. You should definitely be being paying attention to Apple and Microsoft at all times. It's very, very helpful. Um, but that's definitely one of my most used tabs. And if you guys have any other questions or other things on TOS you would want me to go over, please ask. I'll go over more. Um, but watch list, 
the taskbar, the look and feel, um, how to get these labels up here, how to get your chart to look like mine. This is kind of a quick rundown video. I have a longer version for this for my YouTube members, like 30 minutes. Um, so this is kind of a quicker rundown version of that. I think I go through more than just that, though, uh, on that. Uh, my price level tools, if you want to see the settings for that, show the price on the right. I manually changed the color of them today. My fib settings, I always get a lot of questions about my fib settings. What are these fib settings at? You see all the ones I have. I have 0, 0.5, and technically 0.618 to 0.65 is the golden pocket, but I just decided to set just one of them so it's easier to see. So I get the furthest extent of the golden pocket, so I did that. And then, of course, your 1 and 0 is your normal. And you can leave the extensions on if you want further out targets. I personally don't use them, um, but if you want to, you can use them for targets. Really good outside targets. But that's my settings for a lot of what I use, my price level tools, my fibs. Uh, what else? I'm trying to think of what else. Talked about my functions here. Watch list, uh, pretty simple. Edit them down here, or you can just create a new one and then edit that, and then you can go back in there and delete as many as you want. I need to clean up mine, as you can see. Um, but that's the majority of what I have on my settings here, though. Uh, if you want to look at price axis time axis this always adjusts but i always go back to 50 favorite time frames appearance a lot of the questions hopefully they get answered though and uh, i will drop that link to this to this right here so you can have uh, an instant link to this actually let me update this because i'm tired of it for this video let's rename it uh save grid as for this video save <laughs> um so i'll save it as that though and you can have the link to the labels and all that stuff up top but I'll see you guys later on. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And again, if you have any other questions or I can do a part two video on this and there's like more in-depth stuff, please drop them in the comment section below and I'll try to fit them into that new video. But I'll see you guys later on.